guys, so I know on my channel I had um, a review of the Rapid Strike and the Fire Strike, which is this. But today I'm just going to be doing a standalone video on just the Rapid Strike. So there's some minimization, so let's just get down to what it is. So what it is is just a minimized Rapid Strike. You have the front barrel cut off that used to be here, right here. And you have the stock cut off, and I replaced it with just this battery. But I take this off sometimes to charge because this does not hold its charge all the time. So let's just show you guys what this minimization looks like. From the top, here's the view. Here's the side view. Here's the front view. Here's the other side view. Here's the bottom view. So it's just a rapid strike and. When I cut off the front barrel, I lost a tactical rail on the bottom and a tactical rail on the top. There will be one right here, and then there will be one on the bottom. And then, that's it. But I still have three tactical rails on here. One on the top, one on this side, and one on the other. So I can still put a few attachments on. So, one of my favorites to use with this one is a recon ladder sight and that is because when you are aiming down you see the hole right there between the two sights so then you can use that or you can lift it up like this and use that sight so you just go like that it's a cool sight and if you don't want this ladder sight you can just go like this and then you just use that so then you can just slip it on and then we use that, just aim between those. So that's cool. So that's that's a, that's for my personal combos. And then you have your 18 magazine because this is the most reliable magazine, I guess. It's 18. Because the 25 is just unreliable, really. Like it's it's not good for battles because. It's pretty like it's pretty bulky, so when you're going around, you can't. It's supposed to be a one-hand blaster. That's why the Guzzi comes in with an 18 mag. So you pull like that to release it. And then in the back here, you have the battery, and this hooks up with two wires. So if you're looking at it like this, the red wire goes to, to over to this side. And then the black wire goes to the other side, so let's just do that. As you can hear, the motors are working. And let's just show you guys another close up. And there's wires right here because we didn't have anywhere to put them, so yeah. And then, then this paint job is kind of like faded out a little bit. It, is a black base coat one side is kind of like dull you can see the other side is like more shiny as you can see right here and then i painted a few blue areas but the blue chipped away and i kind of messed up this is an old paint job and then a few orange areas so it looks okay i guess so this is a cool gun it shoots pretty fast as you can see let's watch the pusher it's a white rod see that white rod back there right there let's watch it that's how fast it shoots and if you don't know how far it was work all it is is a clip you just load up the clip with bullets so just load up one bullet you load up bullets you put the clip in and th there's motors that spin when you touch this trigger, this bottom one. And that's what you can hear in it. If you can see the front spinning, let's focus it in. The two motors are spinning. And then all it does is the pusher, how fast your pusher moves, that's how fast you shoot your darts. So your pusher just goes like that and you just fire so 
So if your pusher is like high voltage and you have high batteries, this is a 12 volt battery by the way for drills. If you have anything like 12 or above, it'll make noise. So that's cool and your pusher moves fast, which means you'll be having a higher rate of fire. And that also means that you'll be able to shoot your enemies faster. This is a good gun, I have to say. I, pr I really like it a lot. And it beats getting a hyper fire, which is the new rapid strike. But this is slim, and you can see I can one hand this, and this can be in pistol work. So you can technically use this as a pistol. So let's get into some fire now. Alright guys, so my final verdict on this blaster is I do like this blaster a lot and I really like its performance, it shoots very well as you can see. I did a range test today, I didn't record it, but I did a range test from my backyard and it shot from the front patio of my backyard to the back, that was the highest shot, that's about like 67 feet and this gun is kind of weird because most of the groupings are from between 40 and 50 feet. There were like two or three bullets at like like 60 feet, and then there was one at 67. And the lowest two shots were at 30 feet. There were duds. There were really bad darts. One of them was this one. You can see it has like holes in it, like that. And another one was somewhere in here. So those are just two duds, but it shoots accurately. I'd say 45 feet, so that's really good for a rapid strike, and it's modified, and I'd say it's accurate, it's shooting straight, like straight forward as you can see in the firing test, so it's gonna be accurate, so I'd actually give it an extra 10 feet, maybe 50 feet accuracy if you're shooting at somebody, because when you're, if you've seen the firing test, when I fired straight, the bullets hit where I was aiming, which is good, so that's 50 Feet accuracy I'm changing that instead of being 45 it's about 55 so that's good because then you'll be able to shoot your enemies more and the reason it's not higher is just because only one bullet went 67 feet not all of them so that's my final verdict this is a great gun to buy they're kind of a little overpriced now they're like $30 you might find one you might find most of them for like 40 35 but you could find one or two for 35 pick up this gun it's an awesome gun with the barrel it's pretty good i guess but the barrel hinders range and when you cut it off you have the performance right out of the flywheels as you can see so you have the best performance that's my video thanks for watching i'll have more videos up soon